hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be doing something quite different i'm going to be making a mermaid crown for a swap that i'm in cat's mermaid swap so we were to do a mermaid crown so here is my take on it to be honest this was kind of a struggle and quite difficult so uh, I'm not sure I'll be making these again. Maybe I'll give it another try with some smaller shells. But yeah, basically I got all the shells from Michaels. So I'm just painting them using uh, different shades of pink and coral. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to be using that gold headband that you've seen. Uh, that's actually also from Michaels. And I'm also going to use those pearls which are also for michaels and the paints if you're wondering are from target and to spruce it up a little bit i'm just gonna add some of these gold flakes these are by nouveau i got these from scrapbook.com uh they're really cool but you can barely breathe around them because they will fly everywhere so uh yeah they're quite annoying to work with but they end up looking so beautiful and you're supposed to like rub these into like paper and stuff but I use these for everything I just put glue or paint or anything that will make it stick and um, pray to god that it sticks because uh, most of the times it doesn't so this took me quite some time I had to cut out the video um, I had to cut out a lot of the parts from this video because it took me hours to finish this thing and I had to wait for the paint to dry so this took me quite a while <laughs> and I must say um, I'm not very good at making mermaid crowns so maybe I just need to practice a little bit more or use a different uh, technique and different shells and, su and stuff but this is my first time so i mean it's cute but it's definitely not my best work but again this was my first time making a mermaid crown so yeah so again i'm just painting and adding those flakes so i did that to these three shells and i'm just kind of laying them out on how i want to place them in the crown so basically i want to do those three shells and then these um other shells that look like unicorn horns that's what they look like to me so i'm just painting those as well with the target paint okay so then i had to use like 60 glue sticks for this <laughs> No, but seriously, I did use a lot of hot glue because these shells are super heavy and this was just um, very difficult <laughs> to adhere together and I burned the heck out of my finger and like a third degree burn. It was so painful. Um, like I literally had blisters the next day. Because I touched the other side of the shell after I had I added hot glue. And it was so freaking hot. So, yeah, you have to be really careful with these shells. So, I, I did cut out the gluing out parts. Because I had to, like, look at it, like, in front of me. So, like, there was no way that you I could show you guys on video. Because I had to, like... I don't know how to explain it, but I couldn't like do it in the viewfinder. I had to do it like in my lap and stuff because <laughs> those shells are super hot and I can't just hold it. Um, when Once you put the hot glue on it, it's like really, really hot. So then I just grabbed the uh, paper towel roll and I put it on top and that actually helped. And I'm just decorating a little bit. I'm just adding some big pearls, some smaller pearls. These are all from Michaels. They're actually quite pricey. Um, but I've been using them a lot after this crown. Like, I never thought to use pearls. Because, I don't know, I just never really liked pearls. But, um, now I, like, love them. And I think it looks so pretty in every project. So, yeah, I've been using lots of pearls thanks to this crown that I had to make. 
And the star that I put on top is from AC Moore. I think it was like three or four dollars. I didn't want to paint that one because I kind of like the color of it. It's really pretty and it went well with the colors I was using. So yeah, I'm basically just adding a bajillion pearls. <laughs> uh, trying to make it look cuter. Uh, I think maybe next time when I do another mermaid crown, I'm going to use small shells and use like a lot of shells i kind of like how that looks i have seen some really cute mermaid crowns on pinterest so yeah i thought this was gonna look really really cute but it was just i mean i liked it but i don't love it and that kind of bothers me so um yeah so i hope cat likes it this is for cat um and i hope she likes it like I said, this wasn't my best work, and I had no idea how to cover the back. Uh, because if I put another shell on the back side, it wouldn't fit in in your head. So, I mean, it, it was already kind of tight and uncomfortable. So, yeah. And I also made a mistake. <laughs> uh, if you can see, the, the gold crown that I got from Michaels has these clips on the side that you put into your hair. So, uh, they were supposed to be uh, facing down, not facing up like I did. I totally, like, missed that. And so, I mean, it stays in your head, but it's supposed to be the other way. So, hopefully she doesn't mind. And I thought about adding more pearls, like, uh, dangling down, but it wasn't working out. So, this is pretty much how it ended up. Again, just adding more pearls using my little tweezers looking thing. It's like really handy for putting pearls down so you don't burn your fingers. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I totally forgot to give you guys a close up. But uh, I hope you got some inspiration. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!